This is the complete guide how to claim asylum in the UK. So let's understand first what is asylum group. You must apply for asylum if you want to stay in the UK as a refugee. To be eligible, you must have left your country and be unable to go back because of fear of persecution. The eligibility requirement for this is to stay in the UK as a refugee. You must be unable to live safely in any part of your own country because of the persecution. This could be because of your race, your religion, your nationality, your political opinion or anything else that put you at risk because of a social, culture or religious or political situation. For example, your gender, your gender identity or sexual orientation. So if you, for example, have a fear of or a threat because you are a female or you are homosexual or like you have like the identity issues like lesbian or something like that. In that case, you can claim asylum. You must have failed to get protection from authorities in your country. So there should be some evidence that provide the reason that you have tried to get protection in your country and you got failed for it. Now let's discuss when your claim might not be considered. If you are from an EU country, in that case, it might not be get considered. If you have traveled to the UK through a safe third country, for example, you have traveled from Italy, have a connection to a safe third country where you could claim asylum. Generally, a safe third country is one that you are not citizen of. So for example, you are an Indian national and you travel through Italy to UK, you would not be harmed and you would not send you to another country where you would be harmed. Documents you must provide. You will need your documents for yourself and your dependents for asylum screening. We will discuss that further what asylum screening is. Documents you should bring if you have them, passport, identification documents, something like marriage certificate, birth certificate, or any school records, or anything you can think of to, that can help your application. Documents to prove your address, that's also very mandatory. If you are already in the UK, you and your dependents must bring documents to prove where you stay in the UK. You will need different documents depending on whether you are living in your own accommodation or staying with someone else. So for example, if you are staying with a family member, so you need to bring their documents at the time of screening. Living in your own accommodation. You will need to provide documents showing your full name and address. This could be your bank statement, your housing benefit book, council tax notice, tenancy agreement, household bill, or anything something related to it. Screening at the border. You must tell a border force officer that you want to claim asylum. As soon you enter in the UK, the first thing you need to do is to do that. Your application will be registered and you will be screened. Ask for an interpreter if you need one. Some people do ask that if they are coming from outside the UK on a visitor visa, can they claim asylum? Yes, you can claim asylum, but there needs to be a justification that why you haven't responded because in your visa application, so it can be taken as you have lied in your visa application if you have not mentioned those things. Screening in the UK, in that case, you will phone 0300-1234193 and you can book appointments directly. The appointments run from Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. to 4.45 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Saturday, Sunday, they don't run any appointments. Tell the asylum intake unit if you need any other dependents on your claim to be present at the time of the stage for the registration. For example, the welfare interview or you are a child or and you need to be accompanied by an adult, you can have an interpreter as well at the time of screening. At the end of the call, you may be offered a screening appointment as well. Asylum interview. Your asylum interview will usually take place soon after your screening. So first you will phone them or you speak to the border force. They will arrange your uh, asylum stuff, your appointment. And then after that, you will go for the screening. And as soon as your screening finishes, there will be an asylum interview with the caseworker. You may be granted protection status without having to attend an interview. This will happen if there is enough evidence from your screening and your questionnaires. Your application will usually be withdrawn if you do not go to asylum interview. You will have to apply again if you still want to stay in the UK. You will get a letter telling you whether or not you have to go and attend your interview for the 
asylum. If your partner or children under 18 were included in your application, they may also need to attend an interview. The letter will tell you that. You will usually be interviewed alone without your family members. An interpreter can be provided if you ask for one. The information you provide will be confidential and will not be shared with authorities in your own country. How you were persecuted in your country? Why you are afraid to go back to your country? Many students ask that questions that my student visa is getting expired. Can I apply for asylum? If these two things you can answer or you can provide and you have genuine reason for it, then you can apply for asylum. Otherwise, no. But there will be always a question why you haven't claimed asylum as soon as you entered UK. You may be asked questions about difficult topics, but it's important that you explain what has happened to you and your family. Legal representative, you can bring them with you at the time of interview, for example, a solicitor or a lawyer. But you cannot bring them or ask for more time to get legal representative after the interview. So it's better to have arranged them before. Get a decision. Your application will be decided as soon as possible. It may take longer if it's complicated. For example, your supporting documents need to be verified. You need to attend more interviews. Your personal circumstances need to be checked, for example, because you have a criminal conviction or you are currently being prosecuted. Ask your legal advisor if you want an update on your application. You will be given refusal or permission to stay in the following two ways. One is as a refugee status. Second is humanitarian protection. You will have permission to stay in the UK for minimum five years. You can apply for a refugee integration loan as well. There is a separate video on my channel about it, which you can watch. After five years, you can apply for settlement in the UK. We call this ILR, indefinite leave to remain. You can watch that video also on my channel, how to apply ILR in the UK. If you have any question regarding this video or any other video, feel free to send me a question at my email address, or you can also subscribe us on WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter.